My sister loved and trusted a lot of people, and this is unfortunate that this one, this one trust cost her her life. A night out between friends takes a terrible turn, it costs one of them their life, and sends the other to jail. So our big story tonight at 9, a surprise trip back home to Milwaukee takes a tragic turn when a woman is killed in a drunk driving crash. The 31-year-old was in the passenger seat of a car driven by her close friend. Investigators say that friend was drunk nearly three times the legal limit. Fox 6's Ashley Sears joins us live with how loved ones are remembering the victim tonight. Yes, Stephanie, family is absolutely devastated. That mother of four is gone. She came to Milwaukee from Arizona this past weekend to celebrate the life of a deceased loved one, and she lost her own life. I can't hold her no more like I used to hold her. There might be no pain greater than that of losing a child. She just calmly just lay on my chest. Lorraine Braggs now comforts her grandbaby the same way as she mourns the loss of her youngest daughter. It wasn't nothing that I wanted or I needed that she wouldn't do. 31-year-old Deanna Edwards flew in from Arizona to surprise family for a celebration for a deceased loved one. The night out took a turn when family says she got in the passenger seat of a car driven by her close friend. My sister loved and trusted a lot of people, and this is unfortunate that this one, per this one trust cost her her life. Investigators say that friend, 27-year-old Shante Walton's blood alcohol level was nearly three times the legal limit when she crashed into a tree at 91st and Bradley. Edwards did not survive. Even though I know there was an accident, we got to be careful. Loved ones remember the 31-year-old as a devoted mother of four, her youngest child not understanding what's happened. She said, Granny, she started crying and she said, I'm ready to go home. And I don't know how to tell her. Mommy not here. A family wrapping its arms around four young children, trying to bring comfort at a time it seems impossible. Please pray for my family. Now, Walton has been charged with three felonies, including homicide by use of a vehicle and driving without a license causing death. Meantime, a GoFundMe page has been set up for funeral expenses and to help those four young children. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. There are no words. All right, Ashley, thank you.